the oldies like me and, and the players from those days, we squirm a little bit when people say the record number of points, etc. But you put in Premier League, and everything seems to be about Premier League. I mean, the team in the old days was second in the league, and it did get more points. And, and don't let anybody pretend that it was easier then, uh, or the cup was easier. It was a, It was always difficult, and if you're second in the league, or fifth, or eighth as it is now, for a club like Southampton, it's a great uh, achievement. And the uh, football they've played has been excellent. The groundwork was put in by uh, Marlon Pardew and then Nigel Atkins, and the new man came in, and he's, he's built on those foundations, and he, he's got a terrific team spirit. Uh, they're working hard for each other, and uh, with a bit of luck, we'll have two or three in the England squad. But uh, it's been good to watch, and uh, uh, just uh, it's vital next week to see what happens. I think if one goes, it'll crumble a bit. Uh, what it needs is for the owners to say, we don't need money coming in. We want to build on what we've got. Um, and Luke Shaw's agent and Lalana's agent, sorry, bye-bye. You were happy to sign a contract. Uh, we're going to bring more good players in and say to the manager, there you are, come on, sign a longer contract. Laurie, you mentioned the players there that potentially could head out the exit door. Is yeah. it the manager who could be a concern because he's been linked with the Spurs job and yeah. it, his future's uncertain. He's never confirmed that he will stay at Well, the three big names I mentioned is Mr Pochettino and Luke Shaw, the young and, and Adam Lallana. Uh, and then lately others like Schneiderlin and Cork, who they've all had terrific seasons. But I just think it needs everybody to be still be there. Adam Lallana in the local paper today gave a little interview, which they can do now under the new regime, um, and he's more or less saying he wants everybody to stay, top players and the manager. Now that's good to hear from him, uh, but I think if one goes, well, it gives the agents, who are very important these days, a little way to move their players on, you know, and I, I personally think the club is at the stage where it, it can only move up into that next echelon if you add to what is there already. Um, I've always said the Premiership is made up of six, eight, six. The bottom six, are, you include the three promoted teams and teams that are hanging on a bit, and the top six are the obvious ones. And Southampton as a club are a middle eight club. And at the minute, along with Man United, we're at top of that league. And I think that's a great achievement. Just a final one on Luke Shaw. He's been linked heavily with Manchester United, yes. among other teams. But how, how good is he? Because he got in the PFA team of the year. He looks such a talent for how young he is. He's a bit like um, Gareth Bale was at that stage in his career. Uh, exciting, forward, running. Uh, everybody likes to see uh, full-backs acting like wingers and attacking and crossing and all that. The, the test for a lad like him, if he went to the World Cup, would be the defensive side. And um, that's possibly why Roy Hodgson might go for Cole, who is obviously 107 caps and has played at that level against uh, world-class players. So, But his time will come. And uh, he's excellent, he's a strong build lad and listening to people who know them, I don't know the lad um, but uh, listening to them, he's level headed, feet on the ground and that's a good sign And is your gut feeling that he'll go to the World Cup? I honestly think Roy may take Baines and Cole and say to, uh, say to Shaw, come along as well you see, when, with Ireland I couldn't have done that yeah, every penny counted. With England, when I was with the under-21s in the B team, I could have done that because England have got better resources. And that's what might happen. They might say, come along, soak it up, because you're going to be here for the next five or ten years. And I think he'd be disappointed, but he'd be delighted to be part of it.